Welcome to RTIP 22. This is statistical plotting with ggstatplot. This is an awesome new package I just found out about. It's designed for making publication ready statistical plots like this one right here that we're actually going to make today. So we're going to make two plots. Um, the, this is the second plot and then you can see this is a comparison of median home prices between the top five Texas cities. Imagine if you put this in your report showcasing some of the different cities here with the information on each of the, the different cities and the median home prices and you can showcase outliers and have a nice distribution plot that compares each of these so uh, you can get a lot of information very quickly just from looking at this plot so we're going to show how show you how to do that uh, what we need to do though first to get you set up for this uh, you need to sign up for the RTIPS newsletter. There's a link in the video notes. Uh, once you do that, you'll gain access to the GitHub repo uh, where you download all of the, the RTIPS that we've created so far. You're going to do a git pull. Once you pull that, uh, you'll get all of these. We'll be working out of the 0022 GG stats plot. So click that one and open up this file. That, that gets you set up. Next, what we're going to do is load in two libraries, ggstatplot and the tidyverse. The data set that we're going to be working with comes from the ggplot package and it is called TX housing. Now this is 8,000 rows by nine columns. Um, some of these uh, visualizations have to do bootstrap sampling. So what we want to do is actually sample this down a little bit. Um, so that way we're not taking too long to plot. So we're going to set a seed, which makes us reproducible and your results should look like mine. Um, and I'm hitting control and enter and we're now creating the TX housing sampled tibble, which is about 10% of the size. So you see it's 860 by nine rows. Okay. The first plot that we're going to check out is a correlation stats plot. We're going to make correlations and this is good for comparing multiple numeric variables to show relationships. So you can see down here, we've got several numeric variables, uh, things like sales. So the number of sales in that city for a given month of the year, um, we have the volume, the, um, the, the median price of the sale and so on. Uh, the number of listings and what you might want to do is, is create some sort of correlation matrix where we have some sort of target like mm, we'll say uh, the median home price say we want to try and understand that what relates to the median home price and we think sales volume uh, listings and inventory and maybe even the date features so we're going to use this gg core map function and what this does so i'm just going to run this and i'll explain what it's doing so right now um, behind the scenes it's actually processing a plot. Um, it has to do bootstrapping and um, you'll see uh, what it's doing. Uh, the matrix type is upper, uh, the significance level is a 0.05 and what it's doing is calculating many statistics. So if we go to the plots pane, uh, we should see a plot here in just a second. And there it is. So cool. You can see in our plot here, we have just the upper matrix of the GG uh, of a uh, correlation plot. And what this is, is the uh, correlation between each of the different features. And you can see it's just the upper triangle of that correlation. So um, the thing that we might be interested in is our median home price. And we might want to understand which is significant to that median home price. So you can see there's listings, there's um, date. Uh, feature there is uh, also over here sales and volume so those are the types of things that you can uh, get quickly from this plot but you get even more you get to see which features are actually correlated to other features and you can see where there's an X here that means that it's not statistically significant and behind the scenes this GG core map function does all of this for you so it makes making correlations that show relationships that you can put into a publication very quick and easy um, you can also see here on the right hand side where uh, we've got the values of the, the correlation and the method that's used. So very good. Um, so that is the first one. And what you can see here that this is actually produces what's called a ggplot. Um, and this is something that I do teach in my courses. So I just want to talk really quickly before we move on to the second plot. If you're really interested in learning data science for business, you know, this GG uh, stats plot is a great package, but it's just one of many, many, many packages. And what you need to understand is that there's a process for learning data science where I uh, can talk, where I teach 
the 80-20 tools. Uh, these are the 20% of tools that get 80% of the results. Um, the five course art track is a system if you want to, to um, jump into that and really advance your career in data science. Um, the next one, so we're going to move on to between stats. So this is the second one. So if you open up the outline, this is where I'm at between stats. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take the top five cities. So we've got our TX housing sampled. What I'm going to do is just do a quick count of which are the top five cities. Um, do a little data wrangling. We're just going to pull these top five cities here. And um, when we do that, we get a list or a vector of the top five cities. We can then use that to filter down our TX sampled even more. So we can kind of compare these, uh, these different cities. So I'm going to use this GG between stats. And what this is used for is comparing different categories to show differences between groups. So when I run this piece, of code. Um, what it's doing is it's running GG between stats. It's calculating all of the statistics behind the scenes. Um, it's also doing outlier tagging and so on. So what we can see is that it's the comparison of the median home prices for the top five cities. It's got a lot of information. You can see it's a box plot with a violin plot and it's got the mean that's being shown here in red. It's also got the median value and you can see the differences between each of these different cities and how they're homes are priced within those cities. So location matters. You can see in Austin, the, the home, the median home price is 176,000. Whereas, uh, the mean home price in Garland is only 109,000. So a big difference there. And you can see statistically that there's, you know, definitely some outliers here going on in the Garland. So, uh, the top home uh, price of the sampling was 154,000, um, for the median home price for that month. So um, definitely some interesting insights here and we can compare different groups. Okay, cool. So that is uh, just kind of a very quick snapshot of the GG stats plot package. If you want more information, definitely check out this website. I've got a link here. And then also if you're interested in learning data science for business, check out my website. Um, this is a company that I've founded uh, business that business science and also check out the main product, which is our five cores R track. And that's what's going to get you from beginner to advanced. If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday free R tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here, put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.